<clears throat> my name is Dylan Garcia, Dylan the Mechanic. This is my first YouTube video that I'm making to try and get a little bit of education out there as far as transmission maintenance, service, issues you're going through depending on whatever is going on with your transmission. Uh, the basic number one thing always service the transmission. We get a lot of customers that ask us when should I service it. Um, it's whatever the manufacturer recommends. You know obviously Hondas they have a lot more problems so service them more. It's pretty pretty simple simple stuff that you're going through. So the main thing to always remember whenever you're having issues is when was the last time it was serviced? That's the first question I ask pretty much everybody that has a transmission problem. Then you're going to go through obviously the fluid condition, what condition is it in, basically is there a check engine light and what code is actually setting in the computer and it really depends you know certain codes can indicate a sensor problem or a switch problem that is a pretty simple fix and you can just replace a part and get back on the road but other codes especially gear ratio codes it just depends on which specific gear and how many codes are set you know you can have a transmission problem it's not shifting or it's slipping and all of a sudden you get all these codes all at once usually multiple codes indicates burnt wires somewhere you know the engine and the transmission have wires going throughout and they get really hot with the exhaust nearby they can burn up and cause different problems so you have to be aware of different stuff that could be going on with the transmission first thing always maintenance maintenance you know as much as Jiffy Lube is not qualified to work on your car, their advertising on maintenance is not a joke. If you maintain your vehicle, it will last you. If you do what the manufacturer recommends, it's going to last you. Fluid condition is usually an indicator of whether or not it's bad. For those of you who have driven a manual transmission, you know when the clutch is bad. You can smell it. It smells real bad, burnt up. Same thing with the fluid. You know, you get a new bottle of transmission fluid, smell it. It smells, it has a specific smell. When you have a bad transmission, the fluid has a specific smell. Obviously, I'm going to be more familiar with it because that's what I do every day. But the color is very indicative of whether or not it's good. Yes, some transmissions can have pretty dark fluid and still be okay but if you're having transmission problems and your fluid is pretty dark black burnt up smells kinda of funny you probably have a bad transmission you probably need to replace it either with a new or a used one the amounts of different types of fluid um, CVTs you know 4 speed 5 speed 6 speed the year matters if you're looking from 2006 all the way down to about you know 1990 they take a specific type of fluid above 2006 takes an upgraded fluid and if you don't have a trained technician mechanic that's working on your car and they put the wrong fluid in there you can cause all sorts of issues that are basically catastrophic to your transmission and there's no way there's not a lot of ways for it to appear right away. You may have it serviced and then 6,000 miles later something happens. You have no way to trace it back to whoever did it the last time it was serviced. You have no way to trace it back. You're kind of SOL at that point. So you have to make sure that when you do take it to get it serviced, you do it to a certified shop. Either ASC certified or a shop with good reviews. You know, we make sure our customers give us good reviews so that people who are looking us up can know that we know, we know what we're talking about, we know what we're doing. And if we do make a mistake, we will own up to it. You know, we're not, we're honest people. There are a lot of honest mechanics out there. It's just a matter of 
researching and finding the right person in your area or whatever. So that is pretty much it in terms of maintaining your transmission. Like I said, there are specific codes that are going to be set that are either one or the other indicative of a simple fix or you know, maybe more complex an electrical issue or something like that that you still can fix without having to put a new transmission in it. Um, and then you're gonna have obviously codes that are set that are specific to a defective transmission, a bad transmission. So you gotta know which area you're in and it's important to do research about your specific vehicle to know if it has or hasn't doesn't have transmission problems most vehicles on the road if you do not service the transmission it's just like if you don't change your oil it's gonna go bad if you don't change your oil for a hundred thousand miles do you think your engines gonna go bad yes I think so it's the same thing that goes for your transmission or any other vehicle component the fluid is not made to last forever just like gas, gas has an expiration date, oil has an expiration date, transmission fluid has an expiration date. All this stuff has an expiration date that you need to look in your manufacturer's, uh, in your owner's manual to make sure that all this stuff is maintained on your vehicle so that every component, mechanical component lasts. That will save you money going down the road and that's Basically, as a vehicle owner, you want to save as much money as possible. We recommend servicing the transmission every... Every 30,000 miles, just better safe than sorry. So you want to make sure that all this stuff is taken care of so you don't have to deal with having a bad transmission once you hit... 80,000 miles once you hit 120,000 miles where you're right out of making payments on the car and Now you got to put down three grand five grand whatever it costs To fix your car and get you back on the road. So it's always important keep that vehicle maintained So that you're not sorry later on Then goes on to the topic used versus a new transmission so used ones you want to have a warranty no matter what. So most junkyards or wrecking yards are going to have a 90 day warranty. Some only come with a 30 day warranty, but at least you know when you're leaving the shop whether or not it's going to work. So that's a big issue. It's hard to tell how worn out the parts internally are on used transmissions, but for the most part, when we drive it and you can tell the shift quality is solid, you know you're gonna be driving for a certain amount of time with the transmission being okay. So it's hard obviously to tell how long it's gonna last, but for the most part it's a mechanical part. Just like a starter, just like anything on a car, mechanically if it's working, you know it's okay. It's, it's very difficult to tell like I said, the condition, but at least you know it's working and it's gonna be a lot less expensive than getting a remanufactured transmission or going to a shop that rebuilds transmissions. Now, in terms of reman transmissions, you're gonna get, obviously, a much better warranty with those. They are gonna come, most vehicles come with at least a two year reman warranty which is a solid amount of time um, if you're looking in terms of longer warranties you know some shops offer five years I know other shops offer unlimited mile warranty five years is probably gonna be the best warranty you're gonna get um, and it's probably gonna last you for the remainder of the time you own the vehicle so if you're looking for a unit to be replaced and it's a vehicle that you want to keep Obviously get a rebuilt transmission or remanufactured transmission. That's going to last you usually for the remainder of the ownership of your vehicle. If you're looking to sell the car, get a used one 
put it in there, make sure it's working good, obviously. Um, and when you sell it, sell it within the warranty period. You know, I don't think most warranties are going to be non-transferable, but at least you now have a part that is working on your car and it's drivable yet you can sell for, you know, obviously more than if you did not replace your transmission. You're going to get junkyard prices if you sell a car with a bad transmission. Trucks are going to have probably a two-year warranty maximum diesel trucks. Most light-duty trucks are can get up to the five-year warranty of reman units, but any diesel truck, most likely you're probably going to be looking at like a one to two-year warranty. The main thing always is I love what I do and I'm here to educate people on their cars. So I'm here to help any comments that you guys make to help me make more videos, what I should be talking about, what I shouldn't be talking about is helpful. So I want to make more videos. I want to help educate people on their cars. You know, make it easier for people to understand about their cars. You know, in layman's terms, cars can be very confusing to understand, but as long as you know the basics, you don't need to know much else. You know, you're not going to need to know, am I getting ripped off or am I not getting ripped off? As long as you maintain your vehicle, you don't have to worry about most more expensive repairs that are going to be needed. Obviously, like I said, take your car to a reputable shop that knows what they're doing and will not cause any further damage to your vehicle. That is a very important step. Obviously, there's mistakes that are gonna be made in the process at times. Nobody's perfect, we're all human, but just make sure you're taking it to the right people and they will take care of you. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. If you did like the video, please hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be coming out with videos every other week and we'll go from there. Um, hit the like button if you like the video and any comments, suggestions on videos I should be coming up with, that would be very helpful. I'd love to interact with you guys. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, until next time, Dylan the Mechanic here over at Transmissions Unlimited out of Hillsboro, Oregon. Keep it unlimited.